Hey everybody, welcome to this rendition of study time. I pray that you are having a blessed morning so far and I pray that you continue to have a blessed day. Look, there's so much again just, just going on around the world and I want to continue to um, just encourage you to hold on because as we read in the Bible, we see that when all of these things start happening, we should be looking up because our redemption draws nigh, saying that our, um, the soon return of Jesus Christ is near. So I want to just encourage you today with just all that's going on to keep your focus on the Lord because he is near and don't pay attention to all of the distractions that's going on around you. Be prayerful, be watchful, and know that Jesus is soon to return. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this today. Um, we're going to title this message, which will be a two-part series, um, will be a financial miracle. This video, I think that um, you all will really enjoy. Um, and I know that so many people are struggling um, in their minds. A lot of people are struggling struggling just from day to day in their finances so I pray that this video will bless you that it will help you and that it will give you relief that you um, may need um, through the Holy Spirit so I want to encourage you today and with this scripture I also want to encourage you with um, Jeremiah 29 and 11 and it'll be on, on the screen for you if you um, may not be around your phone or be around your Bible or however you can get to it so it'll be on the screen for you let's read For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So in your um, study time, just go back and read that scripture again. Know that God loves you and he does have a plan for you. And oftentimes, you know, our plan may not match the plan of God because we may think of him blessing us one way and he actually blesses us another way. And I'm reminded even in my own study at this time, I'm in the book of um, Romans and I was reading just the other day about how um, Paul, he wanted to take a trip to Rome and, you know, he wanted to be there so he could help, you know, build the body of Christ there. And it didn't happen the way that he thought it would happen and how God would do it. Um, Paul was actually in prison and he was transported to Rome um, while he was in prison. And through that, he was able to actually preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage you today and even myself that we need to stay focused on the Lord and whatever he allows and whatever he does is in his perfect will for our lives. So I hope that you enjoy this video. And also, if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, I pray that as I pray this prayer of salvation, I pray that something tugs at your heart so that you can accept the Lord Jesus into your heart. Um, we all need him. Um, even if you need to rededicate your life back to him, Please say this prayer and mean it from your heart because God is a loving God. He's a just God. And he gives us all the opportunity to repent and turn from our wicked ways and acknowledge him as Lord and Savior of our lives. So I pray that you enjoy this video and I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye. Welcome to the Prayer for Salvation. This is simply a video I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as we seek our Father God. Choosing to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the most important decision you will ever make. Remember, it's not about how you feel after you pray. When the Bible says it, that settles it, and God promises to save you when you ask. God's word promises, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. By his grace, God has already done everything to provide salvation for you, regardless of your past. Your part is to simply believe and receive. So the very moment you commit your life to Jesus Christ, the truth of his word instantly comes to pass in your spirit. And when you're born again, there's a brand new you. Pray out loud after me. Jesus, I confess that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart 
that God raised him from the dead. By faith in your word, I receive salvation now. Thank you for saving me. I am now reborn. I am a Christian, a child of Almighty God. I am saved. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome once again. Welcome to every one of you. Welcome, Sister Mafiwa. Wow, Sister Meki, Sister Dora. This is okay right now. Sister Maureen, you are welcome. Sister Anne, you are welcome. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to you. Good morning to everyone in the United States. Sister Nadia, you're welcome. Those in Canada, good morning. Um, those that are in the UK, Nigeria, Cameroon, South Africa, good day to you. Good evening to you. Welcome to everyone joining us this morning. Sister Grace, you are welcome. Hello. Hallelujah. Sister Linda, God bless you. Welcome to our prayers and prophetic words this morning. And we are about to pray. Hallelujah. I hope you slept well. I hope you had a beautiful night. And I also hope that you are having an amazing day in the Lord. Sister Beth, God bless you mightily. Sister Mincy Thomas, there is a lifting. Hallelujah. God bless you. Good morning. I just want us at this time, as we always do, to just begin to thank God. Let's just begin to worship him. Give him all the praise. There is a word that the Lord gave to me last night because I always pray before I come live just to be sure that we are moving according to God's plans and programming. Hallelujah. And so when I was praying last night, the Lord spoke to me that this is going to be a time of flow for us. It's going to be a time where we get into a flow. It's going to be a season and a period where we get into the flow. Hallelujah. Um, this means that we are going to be experiencing flows, flows, flows this season. F-L-O-W is hallelujah. Flows that like things are just going to be flowing because by his power and by his his grace he has done so much for us we've been praying we've been trust, trusting him and the lord has done so much for us and he's telling me that we are getting into the season of flows hallelujah flows where our things are going to be flowing maybe that blessing you're trusting god for is just going to be flowing in your life financial release hallelujah this has been coming so strong in my spirit financial release financial release financial open doors god has financial uh, financial open doors for for you watching this morning, my God, by His power, Liko Shabrahaka Paladeleya Rakondo Robo Shandaya. God bless you, heavenly sister. There is a financial release this season. There are doors that are opening this season for you in the name of Jesus. There is going to be a financial breakthrough. I see financial miracles this season by the power of God, by his grace, by his mercy. He's bringing us into a time of financial abundance. No more lack in the name of Jesus. Even as you pray this morning, I just want you to come against every spirit of lack, every spirit of struggle, hardship, whatever it is that is causing you to be in the same spot, that is causing you not to be able to prosper. That is what we are praying against this morning and we are receiving our flow from heaven we are receiving our flow from heaven in the name of jesus i hear in my spirit this is the time i hear in my spirit this is the time hallelujah the flow the flow the flow is taking place the flow nothing is going to hinder your flow you're going to be praying this morning lord let nothing hinder my flow my flow of blessings my flow of breakthrough my flow of miracles my flow of finances my flow lord my flow of the anointing my flow of your power lord the seed in my floor in every area and domain of my life and family this is my season to flow this is my season of flow and it's my season also of overflow in the name of jesus i just want us to begin to worship god and give him all the praise give him all the glory i can hear already in my spirit that the doors are open god says i should tell someone that the doors are open the doors are open opportunities are going to locate you financially Financial opportunities, financial opportunities, financial opportunities. There is someone watching. I'm seeing an institution. God has given you the idea. God has given you the wisdom. God has placed this on your heart uh, that you should start something. I'm seeing an institution, and this was orchestrated by the God, by God, by the Spirit of the Living God. God is going to bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Your dreams are going to come to pass. Your dreams are going to be fulfilled. The expectations 
of the righteous shall not be cut short. It shall not be cut short over your life in the name of Jesus. Mashaka brakataya. I just want us to begin to worship God and begin to thank Him for financial flow this season. Begin to thank Him for a season of flow. Legosi brakashataya. Even for this new day that He has given to us, I want us to begin to thank Him for our lives, for the lives of our family members, the lives of our loved ones. I just want us to say, Father, thank You for the life of all those that are alive this day for the body of Christ. I just want you to say thank you, Jesus. Even for the body, your prayers. I just want you to say, Father, thank you for them. I hear the Lord saying you're breaking some limits in your family and you're breaking limits even this season. In the name of Jesus, the financial limitation over your life is going to be broken as we pray. The financial limitation over your life is going to be broken. I hear in my spirit the limits will be broken in the name of Jesus. Every financial limitation, every area in your life where you're experiencing a financial limitation, God is about to break it as we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we just worship you, Lord. We want to say thank you, Father. We want to say we love you you lord and we are grateful for everything that you have done for us we say thank you for your love and your mercy thank you for your power and your grace oh god we thank you for the ability O king of glory that you have given to us to be able father to do what you have called us to do we thank you for that grace and that strength we give you all the glory lord we thank you for supernatural strength we thank you for wisdom and knowledge in the name of jesus and we thank you for everyone that is watching this morning father i thank you for you are here and you are about to touch them in a special way. Someone is not leaving this service the same in the name of Jesus. Someone is not leaving this meeting the same, oh God. For you brought them here because you want to touch them. You said just like the rain will fall on the air and it will leave it watered, so shall your word not return to you void when it is being sent. For it is going to accomplish every purpose for which you have sent it. Hallelujah. So shall your word not return to you void and even this morning your word is not returning void in the name of jesus there is going to be evidence in the life of someone by your power lord in the mighty name of jesus i hear this in my spirit this is the first prayer point we are taking this morning lord every financial constraint in my life every limitation in my finances in any area where i'm limited oh god even financially let your power come in oh lord and break that limitation and break that limitation and break that limitation God has called us to prosper and I see prosperity in the spirit the Lord has called us to prosper and be in good health even as our soul prospers God has called us to prosper I decree by the power of the living God even as you're praying right now every constraint every limitation in your finances by his power let it be broken in the name of Jesus let it be broken in the name of Jesus let it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus God is advancing you financially shaka braka taka badada makabala koshataya leke de konska brahida everything that kept you on the same position financially by the power of the living god i can feel his power this morning i can feel his power this morning and it's taking over right now breaking every limitation breaking every limitation breaking every limitation in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, everyone who thought you were going to remain down, everyone who thought you would not make it, everyone who thought you would not go up, and anything working against you, God is about to put them to shame. God is about to bring it to shame. This honor is coming to them, even as the Lord honors you. In the name of Jesus, God is about to honor you financially and bring this honor to everyone. Labaka shaka brakata every enemy every adversary that is trying to keep you bound that is trying to keep you limited in your finances in the name of jesus you are moving forward and right now i want you to begin to pray every door that needs to be open for you to receive your financial breakthrough for you to receive your financial breakthrough begin to call those doors and begin to command them to open right now command them to open right now 
Toska Brahaka Shataya, Ikondele Mando Boska Brahika La Boshaladea. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray this morning that everyone that is watching, oh God, Makon Shataya, in their lives, Lord, let every door be open, every financial door over them, let it be open. I hear the Lord saying that their expectations will not come to pass over your life. For you have broken that limit. You are going beyond the expectations. You are going beyond the limits. You are going beyond every limitation. Be it in your life. Be it in your family. You are going beyond the limitations. In the name of Jesus. Where they say your family could not reach. Where they say your family could not reach. Even because of generational curses. I hear the Lord saying it's broken this morning. You are going past that limitation financially. God is lifting you up in the name of Jesus. Father, in your name, every door that needs to be open over Sister Donna, over Royal Girl, over Sister Judy, over Sister Esther, over Sister Mariam, over Sister Obi, Sister Aleta, Sister Linda, Baraka Parasha. We command those doors to be open. We command those doors to be open. We command those doors to be open right now. In the name of Jesus, let those doors be open. Let those doors be open. Kapaka shaka parakata. Leke de brom shaka ladia. In the name of Jesus, my God. Someone you're watching, I'm seeing the Lord lifting you financially. You are lifted financially. Yakosha brahakanta ladia. Let that opportunity show up for you. Let that opportunity show show up for you in the name of jesus every project on the ground every project on the ground every project you are set to do we speak prosperity we speak prosperity let the anointing that brings success flow over it right now in the mighty name of jesus you are prospering in it hallelujah 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 by the power of the living god Every closed finances, everywhere it is being closed, my God. I don't know what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something in the spirit. Close, close, close. You are trying to access it, but you cannot. You are trying to access it, but you cannot. Yakosha brabadaya sakapakata lekete kere konsima konsha brahandaya. By the power of God, it is opening right now. In the name of Jesus, let it open. Let it open. Let it open. There is one opportunity that will come your way that is going to change things. That is going to change things. Someone you're trusting God. There is a job you're trusting God for. And if you get this job, it's going to increase you financially. It's going to increase you financially. It's going to lift you up financially by the power of God and by his favor. The door is open in the name of Jesus. That door is open. That door is open. That door is open. That door is open in the name of Jesus. And this, this thing I'm seeing, God is saying it's going to take you to your next season of finance, financial breakthrough, like a next season, a next phase, a next phase. Hallelujah. It's taking you to a next phase. The door is open in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing help help hallelujah i'm seeing help help i don't know how it's going to come but everyone that needs help everyone that needs financial assistance financial aid it is coming in the name of jesus may god begin to release everyone that needs to favor you everyone that needs to be a blessing in your life financially let them be released in your life let them be released in your life let them be released in your life in the name of jesus Makabraha shandala kandala bregedele zuka para kosi kapanda la mandoro bo shabra kata e kondoro broga don si kata la kanta lega dadiya rakosha la teleya every contract let it begin to materialize let it begin to materialize kibra dosha just begin to pray Lord let every door that needs to be opened up in my life financially be open financially let it be open in the name of Jesus I want to get into my 
flow. I want to get into my flow. I want to get into my flow. Mashaka brakataya. Lekom si brako shaladeya. Lika barako shaka barataya. I want to get into my flow. Yakon sekeleya. Zuka panta la mando no bosh kandalia. Without anything limiting me. Without any limitations. Without any restraints and constraints. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I, this word keeps coming to my spirit. Uh, this is the second time just this morning. God is still telling me, someone, you are about to get helped financially. You are about to receive favor, a financial favor, financial favor. Hallelujah. Someone is going to bless you financially. Someone is about to bless you. This is the second time it's coming this morning. Someone is about to bless you and it's coming to pass in the name of Jesus. The doors are open. The word of God has gone ahead and it is materializing in the name of Jesus. And I pray right now, God lay this on my heart for all those that are in need of a financial breakthrough because they want to be able to take care of their bills. They want to be able to take care of their expenses. Maybe you are in a position where you need God to intervene so you are able to pay those bills. You are able to pay those debts even for God to clear them miraculously. Lika parakashabra I just want you to begin to pray. This is a third prayer we are taking this morning. Mango zebra koshata. The Bible says he will supply our needs. God will supply our needs. It's in line with his word. Kabara shata. Every supply you need is coming in the name of Jesus. You, you, every supply you need is coming. It's coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Every bills that needs to be taken care of. May the Lord take care of needs to be taken care of. God is taking care of it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus.